What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Jason and Joe here, and today we're taking a look at an old list by Vulture that they have recently updated. I think the original list is from 2017. It is a list of every Beatles song ranked. And of course, with the new release of Now and Then, they have updated their list. And so the list was making its rounds through our Discord and all over the internet. So figured a good time for us to talk about it as well. I think I did look at this back when it first came out. I do not remember much about it. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much looking at it new for the first time for me again. And uh, I'm expecting it to be terrible. I I opened it up because it was making the rounds and I took one look at it and read number 214. And I closed my browser window and walked away. It was so ridiculous that I just couldn't go on. I think maybe back in the day I saw it. I feel like a day in the life was number one. Maybe. I'm assuming it is. Uh, written by Bill Wyman, who's not not the Rolling Stones bass player. It's a, it's a different Bill Wyman. I'm assuming. It doesn't explicitly say that, but I'm just going to assume that it's a music journalist named Bill Wyman, who I'd never heard of, uh, and not the, the Rolling Stones bass player. All 214. Is that uh, the total, including the covers? We will find out, I guess. I don't know the exact number of Beatles songs. Uh, here we go. Good Day Sunshine, the worst Beatles song. That is... <laughs> That's the one that triggered me. I had to just step away from the computer for a while. That is horrible. Very bad. Yeah, I mean, there's just no possible way. That's the worst one. Worse than Dig It, which isn't even a song. Yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous i feel like there's gonna be some anti paul mccartney bias uh, all over this thing yeah not off to a good start as far as that's concerned little child that belongs at or near the bottom so i'm fine with that now and then <laughs> pretty pretty low and I, I'm fine with that, actually. The more I listen to it, the less I like it. Everyone keeps saying the more they listen to it, the more it grows on them, and it's having the opposite effect on me. I, I think it is, you know, you got your tracks like Dig It and things that aren't actual songs, but of the actual compositions by the Beatles, it might be my least favorite. So I got no problem with 211. I'd have to re-listen to, I know I didn't for this little exercise, every Beatles song, but it would definitely be in the bottom five, not including, there might be some covers that I find worse, but uh, it's as far as originals, yeah, it's, it's way down there. Uh, tell me what you see should not be that low. Dig a pony should definitely not be that low. Taste the honey. I get it, but I like it. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd, I'd, I'd have a lot of with the Beatles and uh, I'm trying to think what else would be at the very bottom. Mostly with the Beatles, some of the bad covers, and then some Let It Be tracks, I think, would make my bottom. Yeah, we got stuff like Dig It, Maggie May, Revolution Number 9. Uh, that'll be interesting to see where they place that. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, Probably way up there. This guy feels like just a Lennon acolyte. We'll put and then the Little Child. Phone. Run for Your Life is always near the bottom because of the lyrical content. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, here's the uh, Free as a Bird. Interesting to see where they have that in comparison to Now and Then. A little bit higher, but not much. Slightly better, which I, I think Free as a Bird is, is better for sure. All right, this is one that was riling people up. Oh. She's, she's leaving home outside of the top 200. It is... Wow. For sure, maybe a little too low, but it's for sure one of my lesser favorite Beatles songs. Maybe really? not outside of the top 200, but it would maybe be in like the high 100s, 170s for me. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I'd have it in the top 100. I always took a shine to that one. I thought it was very heart-wrenching, even as a child. We got Real Love next. That is the highest of the... I guess, quote unquote, reunion songs. Uh, I think I like Free as a Bird a little better, but they're, they're close. Mm -hmm. 
This is tough. I don't know. Ooh, hold me tight at 197. No way. Yeah. I like that one a lot, lot, lot more. Only a northern song is pretty great. Double D that low is more McCartney yes. bias. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's your mother should know. I mean, it's just too obvious that this dude just does not like Paul McCartney that much. Yeah, roll over Beethoven should be lower, probably. One of my least favorites. It's only love is great. Cool. Being for the benefit of Mr. Kite, probably my least favorite song off of their classic albums. Have we seen any of the um of, of uh, George's Indian songs yet? No, not yet. <laughs> None of them. Actually, that oh come on, Maxwell at one eighty two. I love Maxwell. Maxwell's Honey Pie should probably be 50. near the bottom. Again, a silly Paul number. Oh, silly! Oh, how silly that Paul. We really like Wild Honey Pie more than Maxwell's Silver Hammer, a song which is basically just goofing off. Mm -hmm. That's that's what you get when you're... Oh, Ballad of John and Yoko at 179. Oh, I kind of like that because I don't like that song. I love it. Should be... It was in my top 10 when we did had our Beatles week. Oh, Darling at 178. That's that's, that's straight up incorrect. (laughs) Yeah, this person thinks I don't want to spoil the party is better than Oh Darling. Makes sense, totally. Look it is on a reply. It's the no first from Rubber Soul or uh, Revolver, I believe. Well, the list started with Revolver. Oh, right. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, first from Rubber Soul. Uh, think for yourself. Love that song, 172, Garbage. Like, I just wouldn't put any of these early songs ahead this is, of... This is way near my bottom. Dizzy Miss Lizzie. Lizzie. Yeah. Shit, this is way too high for that. Rocky Raccoon, come on. That's great. Country, rock. Old Brown Shoes, another one in my lower tier. Feels like they just threw the songs against the wall and wherever they landed, this seems totally random. Yeah, I don't I don't get a lot of these placements. Her Majesty up much. at 158. I mean, it's fine, but it should be in the it's a little slight, yeah. Like songs that aren't really songs shouldn't be ahead of, you know, classic songs, even if you hate Paul McCartney as much as this person clearly does. Like do you want to know secret is not 154. It's not better than 30 or 40 of these songs that we've come across. Long Tell Sally. Come on, get out of here. So now we've got the inner light at 149. Fixing a hole. Long. On a loser. That's a high placement for piggies. Yeah. 214, I believe, was the total. So 107 is going to be the midpoint. What we do is interesting. That's big hit, early Beatles tune. That's pretty low for that, I think. I think it's pretty low for Because, too. Very much. I like all these songs. Like Birthday at 135. (laughs) Why don't we do it in the road ahead of Because's Insanity? (laughs) birthday that's too high mm-hmm. I, I feel like there's way too many let it be songs still left yeah this is weird words of love it's kind of high for that for no, cover terrible absolutely terrible you really got a hold on me is one of my least favorite of the covers i think it stinks compared to the original What is this? Is this their one? This is a person in favor of cutting the white album down. Is that what this is happening here? I guess. I don't yeah, know. single LP. Other girl, Alpha with the sun, should be way Still higher. Still haven't seen Run for Your Life. Yeah, did we miss it? Like Medley, Kansas City, Hey Hey Hey, one nineteen. No. There's another Harrison 
Blue Jay way. You might, you know my name. Look up the number. This is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous at one twelve. Does he even like these songs? Or like I don't, I don't understand. Happiness is a warm gun. One ten. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> we can work it out. One oh nine. But then rock and roll music is above it. Like what? <laughs> Awful, just terrible. I'm I'm curious what it will be like the top ten or like the top twenty or so. Will it be like a like if we saw only the top what tier of this list, would we think this person was crazy? I'm trying to think what's left. I mean, most of the best songs are still on the board. Maggie but, May at ninety four. Yeah, that's less than a minute long. 94th best Beatles track, huh? This is an embarrassment. Slow down for the long, tall Sally EP. There's Run for Your Life, 88. And blues. I just don't see I want to be your man. Yeah. It's 81. I don't care if the Rolling Stones also covered it or something. It doesn't make it a great song. Well, keep in mind it was written by Bill Wyman. So. <laughs> Love you too. Act naturally. We've seen this guy with diamonds. That's pretty low. 68. Is Mr. Postman better than Lucy in the wow. Sky with Diamonds? I, I don't know about that. At least Mr. Postman would be near the 200s for me. I, just, I don't buy their Motown covers much at all. Hello, Goodbye. I love Hello, Goodbye. It's too low. Boys at 65. Just that makes no sense at all. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> This is a pretty pretty bad list. Oh, like one after nine oh nine is not a great song. So, I mean, at this point, it should be all just like straight. Yeah, it's a banger. It's starting to get there a little bit, I guess, with mm -hmm. going back up here. Yeah, I mean, starting around 50, I would 50. say. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I feel like there's some probably something crazy still to come. Ooh, in my life at 42, that might be it. It's kind of yeah, kind of low. But I, I think there's, is there going to be any crummy songs sneaking in here? 38 for Drive My Car is a little high for me. 37 for I'll Cry Instead is a little high for me. And the Walrus. Ooh, for no one at 34. It's, it's tough. Blackbird, Day Tripper. Okay, we've got the medley taking up multiple entries, 29 yeah. to 22. Okay, top 20. Hey, Jude. That's fine. I kind of like that that's not top 10, but uh, 20 feels like paying it the respect, but like we're all sick of it. Yeah, so 20 is fine. Lovely Rita. Kind of interesting pick. I like it. I'm surprised he would put that in the top 20, but I also like it. I believe that was like my 11th or 12th is right off my top 10. Ticket to Ride Nowhere Man. Here comes the sun. No, no issues with any of that. Let it be 15, maybe a little low. I don't know. It's, I, once you get in the top 20, it's really, this really tough. Money, that's what I want at 14. Is, yeah, there's, no. there's the turd in the punch bowl right there. That is not a top 20 or 50 or 100. 100. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 150. 
something, okay. Not something. Oh, hi. Tomorrow never knows. These probably should both be in the top 10. Still haven't seen Revelation number nine. No, we didn't I don't think so. Did we miss it? I think it's probably up there. I rain mean, rain at 10. Rain at 10. I'm I know you love rain. I know you love rain, but it is not a top 10 deal song. Uh, Regent Wood, here, there, and everywhere. Dear Prudence, please, please me. She loves you. Penny Lane, oh, Strawberry Fields. Is it going to be? We, we had to have missed it, right? Is it the number one? No. Day, day in the life. Day in the life is still left. So we passed. Where the hell is Revelation Nine? nine. I swear I would have look for it. I was gonna I say if he it. if he went. <laughs> good Lord, I was getting. If he went, good day sunshine at the bottom and Revolution number nine at the top. <laughs> that would be a good troll. That'd be an excellent troll job. Yeah, day in the life. So That's where nice. did we miss Revolution? What is did not remember seeing it. It must have been like right outside the top 50 when I stopped paying attention. Revolution. One. Single. Yeah, I saw Revolution 1 go by. The heck is it? Okay, well, it's good that it's not anywhere near the top. Was it like 210 and we just missed it? I don't think so. Is it not on the list? Oh, here it is. Okay, 114. 114. So a little below halfway. Mm -hmm. Better mm -hmm. than I've just seen a face. I don't think so. Might be better than Blue Jay Way. No, not really. But Tommy Down's not great. That, that should be higher. Uh, man, yeah. Not a lot that I agree with here. A couple cool things near the top that I'm like, okay, that's a cool, interesting pick, like Lovely Rita and Putting Rain in the top 10. I kind of like those little outside of the box things that I agree with, but most of this is just nonsense. I don't know how, in good conscience, you could put Rain ahead of Hey Jude in any meaningful ranking. I mean, you might, but normal people would no, not dare such a thing. I mean, if you want to make a good list, you have to have a, a nice blend of the standard, what everyone's going to have near the top, some cool picks that show you know what you're talking about mixed in, but not too many. And yeah, I think... Yeah, there's just too much good. I think the problem is that there's too much good stuff way undervalued here. Mm -hmm. More so than him messing up the top of the list. Yeah, I mean, the top of the list, it's almost fine. Because once you get up there, it doesn't really, you know, you know what's going to be in the top couple. And everything else I can live with. But all those covers being so high, just no. I, I don't see it. I don't like that. I think their originals were almost always in every way better than their covers bearing one or two yeah but yeah i mean the, the obvious anti mccartney music hall bias a little too strong on this one from old bill wyman yeah uh not great uh but you know they had to uh they had to get the views they had to do it again we had to mooch off it and get some views of our own uh let us know what you think of this list, where you would put now and then, where would that slot in? Curious if anyone would have it anywhere more than bottom 20. I find it hard to make that argument. All right, let us know. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.